THCCBD extraction butane method what you need one metal or glass tube two baking dishes one larger than the other two coffee filters four cans of refined butane three to four ounces bud and or keep warm water around 100 to 120 degrees fahrenheit optional filtration media you can add a special mixture that comes pre-mixed from a company i found online you just add the filtration solution below the plant matter inside your tube caution butane is explosive it evaporates into a gas when it's exposed to air it also is heavier than air it drops to the floor and is invisible due to the extreme danger involved it's best to set up your improvised lab outside to make sure there is no chance of gas lingering waiting to explode grind down and pack the product into the tube be careful not to pack too tightly if you can't blow through it and feel the air pass through to the bottom with your hand it's too tight on top make sure there is a tiny opening to press the butane through Use the adapter tips that come with most butane cans to make pressing easier. The nozzle must have a firm surface. Test the adapter tip for the nozzle. And press it on the hole at the top of the tube. Confirm that the tip is a tiny bit bigger. And won't fall through. I used an aluminum bottle cap. Which wasn't the best idea. The tip fell through several times with one cap that swallowed five or six nozzle tips. Keep extra nozzle tips ready for swift recovery. Just in case. Seal the bottom with two coffee filters. On a table outside, far away from any doors or openings to your house. Place a decent sized baking dish with a larger dish it can fit inside, fill the larger one with boiling hot water. Put your gloves and mask on. Begin pressing the butane as fast as possible into the smaller dish. Once finished pressing all cans, gently glide a knife over the surface like so to help evaporate excess butane. After a few minutes, away from the butane, boil more water, and continue stirring off and on for about 25 minutes, applying hot water a few more times. Alternatively, to avoid having to add hot water manually, you can use an electric hot plate, which is safe, with no open flame or sparks. You can experiment on lengths of time to purge with warm water and see varying results. It should be safe to bring inside after an hour or so, continue purging inside if you want, just be sure the room is ventilated.
The reason you can see little white grains in this one, is because the bottom of my tube failed, right before I finished. As a result, small amounts of the filtration media, fell onto the dish. It was a calculated risk, in order to allow, theoretically, more THC to flow through, with only one coffee filter. Luckily, the wax didn't suffer for it, producing a very tasty flavor profile. Also, one thing to note is, when your butane runs out, you can orally blow through the top nozzle, pushing out the last bits of wax you can get, just be sure not to accidentally inhale, or get any butane or fumes, into your mouth, when attempting that. Thanks to Media Brothers, for providing the filtration media, Thanks for watching. And extract safely. Produced by Custom Coder Pro Web Design Webmaster of Custom Coder Pro.com